one. What is this is day sixty seven. Mm -hmm. So guess what, you guys? Very, very, very good news. Um, Governor Sislek finally gave a date for the casinos, and that date is June fourth that they can open. But like we've been saying, you know, it's only going to be a handful of the casinos because a lot of them may never open again because this has just been too long. Um, but uh, I know the ones that want to open are um, Caesar's Palace and Flamingo. So Caesar's, you know, for those of you that don't realize, um, Caesar's and MGM own most of the strip. Like uh, they own, like each of them own around like 10 or 11 properties. Um, and then the other casinos, you know, uh, just have like a one or two, most of them. So like Wynn and Encore is together, but they're just going to open Wynn. And then Venetian and Palazzo, they're just going to open Venetian. But for the Caesars properties, which is like a bunch of properties, they're just going to open Flamingo and Caesars. And what that is is they're having a high-end and a low-end casino. So the low-end one would be more for Flamingo, so it's cheaper, and then they're better properties, Caesars Palace. And then the same with MGM. Um, so MGM is M Life, so it's a bunch of properties. They're doing Bellagio and New York, New York. Um, and Bellagio is for their more high end and then New York, New York if you want a cheaper rates. So come to Vegas, you guys, June 4th. You can start making reservations. They are going to open those. Um, I know uh, Venetian's going to open and Wynn is going to open. And then, like I said, Caesars and Flamingo. And then um, and New York, New York and Bellagio. And then uh, a Treasure Island wanted to open. They wanted to open yesterday, actually. So they're going to open. And let me see. Uh, the, some of the Stations Casinos want to open. But now Palms is closed and definitely that was owned by Stations Casino. Knows they just recently bought that did a ton of they did a huge remodel like a close to a million dollar remodel um and then uh they made that whole new club chaos that's all done you guys it's, it's unfortunate but that was drama too that was that was a scam they got scammed they were getting embezzled by one of their general managers of the club there um so that was a mess even before the shutdown. But it's just really sad to see that some of the casinos are going to close. Uh, I'm hoping South Point, and we live near South Point, hope that one will open back. I think that one are, will. Are any MGM casinos opening? Uh, the, uh, Bellagio and New York, New York. Those are the two for um, M Life, and M Life is a lot of them. If you guys don't know, it's MGM. It's oh, all. It's oh, um. Aria. I saw yesterday that that some people are being deferred to Aria as well. Right. So oh oh really? Yeah. So they added Aria in the mix. So Aria originally they were not going to open until September twenty twenty one. So maybe they changed that date. Um, we had seen a list of some of the dates they were wanting for some of the casinos, and some of them was not till September twenty twenty one, November twenty twenty one. It was some of the dates Aria had been September twenty one, but maybe they changed that because. I think they should open Aria. That's a good one. But it's expensive. It's a huge property. So they have to weigh out what's going to be their most cost-effective and still uh, satisfy you know, their high-end and their low-end customers. And Aria is a huge property. So I think that's why I, I thought they weren't going to open it right away. But I don't know. Jared says maybe that one's going to be opening soon. But first, it's going to be New York, New York, and Bellagio for M Life. And M Life is Mandalay Bay, Luxor, Excalibur, which I haven't heard of Excalibur coming back at all. I don't think that one's going to come back. Um, MGM, Bellagio, Mirage, um, what else? Uh, what do we got? Uh, Park MGM, Aria, um, uh, Vidara, I think is all even part of that. Um, and several other ones. They used to have Circus Circus. I think they just got rid of Circus Circus. And there's quite, quite a few. There's, they have 11 or 12 properties. And then the other, most of them, are Caesars properties, and that's like Planet Hollywood, Haras, Link, Flamingo, um, Caesars Palace. Um, you know, a lot of them go with one of the other. So when you look at the strip, and it's going to be weird now because you're only going to have for each one of those. So those ones had, like I said, it was either t between 10 to 12 properties. They're only going to open two. So especially in June, it's going to be really um, desolate on the strip. So it's going to be like one casino open and then like three closed and one open. It's going to be weird. But I'm just excited that they're going to start opening because that is really good news. And I feel like Governor Sislek like just finally had to because Arizona opened all their casinos. And um, San Diego just opened all their bars yesterday. I, I heard from someone that was going to San Diego. They were leaving Las Vegas, uh, Vegas local, to go to San Diego for the Memorial Day because we have nothing here. So they went there because they opened the bars. So I think Governor Sislek was getting a lot of pressure because it doesn't make any sense. It never made sense for him to close the things he did in Nevada and then to leave the things that he left open like construction. 
um, didn't make any sense in golf courses. Those are the things he left open. Construction and golf courses during a pandemic. Right. Okay. So I never believed it was a deadly virus, and I never believed he believed it was a deadly virus. Because if you think construction and golf courses are important if we're all about to die. I'm in New York City. We are never going to open. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks for you guys because... <laughs> I think Governor Sis, like really pushed it as far as he could before he's really worried about now his actual position because people are getting pissed here and there's a lot of money here and he could get impeached. That's what I was saying. Impeach his ass because what he's doing uh, when you are holding out like this, when you have these casinos that make billions of dollars and you're not letting them open, you're going to start having some major issues. And so I think each day he was getting a little bit more scared. I mean, he was just ignoring the casinos like it would just like like they'd go away you know if he I don't know what he was thinking and these people were hounding him day in day out they just wanted a date so he finally yesterday gave a date so I'm really happy about that uh, it's really good news for Vegas um, I, I feel really happy but I'm a little bit nervous because he's been he hasn't made any sense so I hope he doesn't change his mind again um, because he he's not rational. Nothing he's done during this whole time has been rational, so we can't think, oh, what would he rationally do? I don't know, because the guy's insane. I mean, the fact that he closed Vegas for 67 days already is absolutely ludicrous. I mean, everyone here just absolutely thinks it's insane. When I talk to anyone locally, they think it's insane that... Um, now, online, people say other, but, like, when I actually meet people in person, I say, do you think this is a deadly virus? What do you think about this? I mean, most of them are like, nah, it seems like it's really an overreaction, you know, like it was a virus, but, man, I mean, and most of them are pissed because they either, um, uh, most of the people I see, you know, uh, a lot, I see a lot of Uber drivers and stuff, and they've had a really rough time because it, Vegas was a really great opportunity for these people to be able to do something independently for the first time. Like, there was a very nice opportunity for uber drivers and lyft drivers and stuff where you could be like work for yourself it was people were loving it here they even had like i, I forget what the number i want to say it was ninety thousand uber drivers or something like that here in, including lyft i think um and they were this was a really good place for it now those people i mean i don't that's another thing that people didn't even think about i mean you think of all the casino workers you don't even think about all of the things that assist the casinos even down to the taxis and uber drivers there aren't people here so all of those people are out of work as well and they're they're really upset because they they would have like they're still choosing to work this entire time because they're allowed to so like these people would never wanted anything shut down and everyone goes oh well you know the people that never wanted something shut down don't care about our lives and they were willing to risk it by having oh really this was really a deadly virus that's why governor says like allow construction and golf courses did you know he only closed the golf courses for one week during this entire 67 days they were closed for one week and they were complaining about it I met a guy that he was like yeah we could believe it he closed the golf course for one week and i was like are you kidding me that you guys got to stay open and they had their clubhouses were allowed to stay open which have fitness uh, centers in them which have bars in them which have restaurants so he allowed all of that for his friends to gallivant around while all of us while all of us were suffering it's like he didn't want his friends to suffer at all during the quarantine so make sure to keep the golf courses open and make sure to keep construction because that's his baby project the raider stadium and he couldn't just say the raider stadium he had to say all construction because it would be too obvious if he just said oh just the raider stadium could stay we're, oh really it's a pandemic and we're worried about the raider stadium but they were worried about that, and they allowed that to continue, even though 16 workers tested positive. So if it was a deadly virus, then we all would have died, because they allowed it. Those guys spread it around. Here's the thing. There was a virus, and people did get it, but it was not deadly. Most people were covered. That would make it not a deadly virus. The people that died were the people that were already very ill, and that's who dies every year from the flu virus, and that's what I've been saying from the beginning, that that's exactly what it was, and all we did was track a regular flu virus, and we shut down all of society for a regular flu virus, and the celebs are all about this, you guys, because they don't care. They have tons of money. It makes no difference to them if they are staying at home or going to these things. They're making most of their jobs are able to work through the internet. Like, a lot of things, it's like, oh, now we don't actually have to meet in person. We can just do our, um, like, like when they go on TV and meet with someone, they're doing it all, you know, through their own houses. For them, they're stoked. They don't even have to go show up to anything. For the rest of us, we've lost our livelihoods, and we might be homeless. You know, we owe, like, a month's rent. I'm going to go pay today. 
We've actually had a pretty good week. Finally, we got a little business. So I'm going to pay a little bit down towards our rent, but we still owe about a month. Like, cause we keep kept getting behind, you know, so, um, I'm going to pay for this week, but then we're still about a month behind. We pay weekly. Um, and it just came down to either food or rent and they, they were working with people. So we said, okay, they're not going to evict us luckily until, you know, later. That's the thing. Everyone's like, oh, they're not going to evict. But yeah, if you don't get the money, you will be in however many months. So we'll probably be fortunate enough to be able to get our rent, but not everyone will be. And, um, cause our rent is so low. So let me ask you a question. So, so June 4th, right, was the date. And so why do you think he suddenly came? But let's point out too, that a lot of people were saying June 1st. Right. Oh, a yeah. Lot this of is the. Accuse us of fake news. This is the other thing too. Okay, there was no date. Everyone was lining up like just these dates of when they wanted to open the casinos, but Governor just like had not given a date, and he even said he didn't want to open the casinos until phase three or four, and we're only in phase one, and he had no time for these phases. He they were just arbitrary phases, like oh, it won't be for a while, not until phase three or four, and he was just he was given no dates for the casinos. He was just like can't answer any questions i i had a client that um is very high up at stations casino and he was one of the people that was talking directly with governor sislek as much as he could and usually he ignored them and didn't return their calls but when they would actually actually talk to him he said it was like gibberish the guy would not answer a question it would just like he would just give the most ridiculous responses like when they'd be like can we have a date of when we can like schedule to you know like just we just want a date so that we can plan for our staff to restaff um so we can make reservations and governor's just like would not give them a date 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 Yesterday, he finally caves and gives them a date. But, of course, what they wanted originally was Memorial Day because they've already lost the best time in Vegas is from March till about mid-June, and then it's no good here because it gets really hot. Usually people, it tends to not be as busy. The prime time in Vegas is from March to, like I said, mid-June. It starts to get in 120 degrees sometimes here, so it's not as popular come June, July, August. It's just because people don't like it when it's so hot. Now, there are people here, and this is primarily college kids, but the prime time where Vegas makes the most money is when we've just been closed. That is the best time. It's Christmas is crappy here people don't come here for christmas you know our our christmas is from march till middle of june and now we're going to open june 4th so we're going to get just the tiniest little bit of the prime season now i hope people will be running to vegas um because the casinos need you guys is loving you say oh who cares well this is the adult playground that people need you know for for birthday parties for bachelor and bachelor parties for weddings for divorces for whatever it may be you need that and you're gonna miss it when you say hey we need to do some adult thing where would we go oh i don't know only thing left is disneyland you know, I mean, it's like you need Vegas, so people need to come back and, and support this place because you need a place that you can have as an entertainment place because we're all so serious. We take life too serious. You need once in a while people need to be able to uh, let go. They should be able to more often, but they only allow themselves once in a while. So at least Vegas has always been that place for people. And now it's like... They just destroyed it. Now, it will come back, but it's going to take a minute. It's going to be very desolate when it first opens because, like I said, it's only going to be a handful of casinos. It's going to be weird where you go down the strip. It won't be like all these beautiful casinos. It's going to be like one open, bunch of closed. But I'm so thankful. But here's the thing. I think he finally had to because California and Arizona opened and people are starting to wisen up that it was not a deadly virus so he really like milked it as long as he absolutely could and he's from Wisconsin so he pushed it probably as far as he could of the milking fucking cheese head um and he thought he was gonna turn Vegas into Wisconsin Disneyland like he he does he's a Catholic he doesn't want it to be Sin City so he wants the casinos to go away and he wants it to just be like sports here and you know just all family fun and stuff which great we have sports but it also needs to be Vegas it needs to be Sin City <coughs> excuse me for my bottom um and I'm really upset that we allowed this to happen because I think the casinos should have just not listened to him. And I know they go, oh, well, they have their gaming licenses, but 
I mean, okay, great. Now you guys still have your gaming licenses, but most of you have lost your businesses. A lot of the casinos are not coming back. People don't realize that. And if they do come back, it's in a long time, a lot of them. Like, we're not going to have a lot of them until 2021. We're going to have a handful that are going to open this year. But a handful, but most of them are not going to open until 2021. And some of them not at all. Like I said, Palms is done. I believe Excalibur might be done. I haven't heard anyone talk about it opening. Um, and I had heard someone say that was pro probably going to go. Um... And then uh, uh, the fiestas, I think, are done for the stations, casinos, and the palms. And um, what other ones? What other gremlins? Well, uh, with, like, when, and pl when it'll only be when, not Encore. And then Venetian, it'll just be Venetian, not Plaza. And I don't know when they ever plan on opening their other property. Like, I haven't heard hey, Flynn, them say the when their other property will be open. So it was, Flynn, I guess it'll just depend on how many people come to Vegas. Good to see you back. Uh, I'm hoping... My trip in Vegas at the end of August will be a go-ahead. That should be now. You, they're saying Everything June will be open 4th, so yeah, that, yeah, that should be fine. Yeah, is that the case? That should be fine. Once I mean, according to, is. yeah, no, because I, Book, as long, as, long as Governor Sislek doesn't change his mind, he gave the date of June 4th. Tuesday, he has a conference. And so they, all the casinos that I mentioned want to open. They wanted to, Treasure Island wanted to open yesterday. They wanted to actually I get it for Memorial Day and even for June 1st but he didn't allow them on Memorial Day just to be another just to be an added dick even though they open casinos in Arizona and California so all of the Native American casinos are open in California and their bars they open several bars I don't know of all of California but I know San Diego did for sure um, I don't know if they have different regs in different cities there. I don't know. California does all kinds of crazy stuff. I'm from California, so I can say that. But um, I know San Diego was opening a bunch of their bars on the beach because I knew someone that was going there. They went there for the weekend because Vegas has nothing to do since they don't open. It won't open until June 4th. So they cruised up to California uh, to hit the bars. So I think Governor Sislek finally started to get a bunch of pressure because people are like, why is California open? Why is Arizona open? There's actually casinos open now in Arizona. Their casinos are actually open. In California, their Native American casinos are open and their bars. So I think he finally, like, he really couldn't push it any further before people would probably take further action, like getting him out of office if he continued this nonsense, because he's really messing with people's livelihood, and he can't continue this virus thing for much longer because people are starting to not believe it anymore, and um, when other states are opening, you just look like a fool. So I think that's what happened, but I was really happy to hear that. But as far as your reservations, yeah, I think as long as it, we're set to open June 4th, then everything should be fine. And the casinos, as soon as it gets busy, more and more casinos will open. So, you know, hopefully everything just, people just rush over here and then more casinos could open sooner than they were planning. But in reality, it'll probably take a while because, you know, here's the thing, you guys. People don't realize about Vegas is a huge portion comes from the conventions and they had to cancel all those conventions. I don't know when the next planned convention that's still set to to even be is because they had to cancel everything. And conventions are like the majority of a business in the for the casinos because um, you have the people that come for to party, but people don't realize a lot of people in Vegas are actually here on business too. That's the other thing. It's a great place to house conventions because there's so many hotels. And so in each convention, each um, hotel has its own convention center along with, we have an enormous convention center, like a regular one, but then each casino has a convention center. So you can just hold massive conventions here and they do that. I mean, they hold some of the biggest ones in the world here. Thank you for sharing your day with us. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> oh, I'll get some photos too. Want me to start the key? Want me to start the periscope too? While you do that? Sure. <laughs> what are you gonna do in like this? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> low riding, low riding. Good morning, everyone. We're just doing a quick couple photos for the. Uh, we like to do five for, photos uh, for you YouTube. For YouTube. Right. Cause they look funny, <laughs> and then Jerry Rich puts me on funny things like motorcycles and stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we cop her in, we cop her in. She's 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 a card. Not to 
I'm not impressed. I'm not amused. I'm not confused. I'm not confused. I'm a grown man business. I am not in school. Put your hand down, youngin'. This is not for you. I'm my J.O., my deep with the Kanye, yo. Your name on the marquee, your name off the payroll. Style fresh. It's like I'm still a day yo, and it's been like that since the day yo. On more time than a Rolly or Senko. Step on deck, your neck, or do what I say so. Get, get up or get out, get down and lay down. The sun is shadow, shadow, shadow. Open and general, I am. Let's move. Shout out to my man Kelly Kwame. We on top. Shout out, shout out. Check it out. Check it out.